All right, so I came to Japan for this apprenticeship and I figured I should bring some nice hand tools. Get my chisels and my planes and sharpening stones and all that stuff in a big case. And the things I left home are actually the things I use the most. Uh, the most important tool really for the carpentry, day-to-day, uh, -day. not the cutting of the joinery and stuff like that, but impact driver. Left mine at home, bought one in Japan. Glad I did. Also, funny enough, the uh, Makita stereo would have been pretty nice because we're constantly listening to tunes. And I probably could have bought a lot of the nicer hand tools here. But anyway, the impact drivers here in Japan are much more of an obsession than they seem to be in America from what I can see. A lot of the hardware stores just have aisles and aisles of accessories and bits and you know anything that you can use to customize the impact driver and even the home centers that you know sort of like the Walmarts or the Home Depots um, somewhere between a Walmart and a Home Depot they also have impact driver bits all sorts of different accessories so I bought this impact driver here in Japan this is model TD171D the US equivalent is the XDT-16. Uh, what's cool about this model is that it is made in Japan. You can see right there. The US model is actually made in China. So all the tools made by uh, Makita Japan, or the way they say it here is Makita, are made in Japan. Japanese company, Japanese tools. Makita America, they make the tools in China, so, you know, there's high quality stuff coming out of China, there's low quality stuff, it's not like a huge fight, but, you know, that actually a lot of the American tool brands too are made in China, so, you know, there's, there's that thing going on. I wish I had the XDT-16 with me, because it would be cool to do a teardown comparison between the two models, and see if there's any major differences, but we'll open this one up here in a second, and uh, kind of see if the guts are anything different. I looked at uh, AVE's breakdown of the US model or the Canadian model and you can look at that video, I'll link in the description if you want to see more about the that model. Uh, okay, so why don't we take a look at some of the accessories. So this is the case. This is pretty much what you'll see in the Japanese impact driver case. These uh, socket, these are used a lot on scaffolding. Uh, I got a set of them just so I had all the different sizes if I needed to. Um, we also have a chuck here to adapt the impact driver to use drill bits and a couple different sizes of auger bits. These are star M auger bits. so. Uh, these are really nice, and they're so much cheaper here. I mean, it's incredible. You can get maybe half the price of what you see online for these beautiful star M bits. And for the work we do, having a 30 millimeter auger, a 15 millimeter auger, this has this little stopper here, which is pretty cool, so you can drill to a certain depth uh, repeatedly. And I think I have an 18 here. Those are super useful. Got my chuck key strapped in so that I don't lose that. And then a couple, oh, there's a little screw extractor. They don't, they're not big into the, the star bits here in Japan. Uh, you, we used some square bits, but we couldn't find a bit. Uh, we used some square head screws, but we couldn't find a bit that fit them nice and they would just break off. So we never use those again. But almost all the screws we use outside of the rafter screws are these plus bits. And I, I gotta say, one of the few disappointments is that they don't use star bits here because the star screws like SPACs or GRKs, they just hold so well. These, sometimes it jumps out of the plus and, and it gets you into trouble. Some of the cool accessories that I've liked to use here are these little pilot drills. These are pretty common. So this drill bit can be adjusted uh, in terms of length, but it does a pilot and a countersink all in one go. Uh, also, these are very common, these uh, tapered pilot drills. So you put these guys, um, you can pop this onto your impact driver, 
and drill a pilot hole really easily. Uh, and for that, actually, this accessory is paramount. Uh, I have not used it as much as some of my coworkers, but what you do is on one end goes on to like the screw bit that on here. Actually it goes, one end goes like on your countersink. Sorry, I'm holding the camera, so I only have one hand here. And then this end is a little bit longer. So you have your impact driver set up for a screw. And then you need to do countersink hole. You just pop this on here, do your countersink, pop it off. You don't have to take one bit off and put it back on. One thing that's pretty interesting about the Japanese model and the US model is the one bit that I uh, brought over. Uh, I just had an extra Makiti USA bit actually. You can see the difference here. The USA on the left has a shorter back and the Japanese has a longer uh, end of the, the hex bit. Uh, they're both quarter inch or 6.3 something millimeters. But what this means is you can put a US bit in a Japanese driver. Moves a little bit, but it's fine. Um, you would not be able to put a Japanese bit in a US driver. So that's kind of a pain. I don't know why they didn't just make it all the same, or I don't know why they made the bits like this, but probably some version issue. Another cool accessory are these guys. I don't know, maybe this exists in the US, but I have not seen it. This is the coolest thing. The bits just clip into here. And these hang from your belt. So you wanna switch a bit to a, a drill bit or a different size plus bit. You can just pull it out with one hand and you're good to go. So thankfully the US bits will fit in these. So I'll bring a bunch of these back so I can uh, not have to be rummaging around in my tool belt for the bits I'm looking for. Another accessory that I have for the impact driver is this right angle attachment. So <laughs> this is my classic like attitude of buy the biggest and most robust version of a thing. But actually what's funny is, I mean, it's only about half the length of the impact driver. Um, so to get into hard to reach places, you know, if you wanted to like drill a, a hole or put a screw in inside two frame members or something like that, like this will be helpful. And they have a small bit um, that sticks out only about this much, but they also have other models that are much shorter, so I might pick up an even shorter model so that I'm not limited by this, but this this is a very hardcore bit. I mean, it sticks in here, and this will handle like full all the strength into this gearbox of auging and uh, you know getting into hard to reach places. All right, so why don't we uh, why don't we dig into this guy and see if there's any differences in the construction of the Japanese made in Japan model versus the US made in China model. All right, so the battery, I believe it's the same battery, just the Japanese version. Uh, it's a six amp hour, cell made in Singapore, pack process in China. I'm guessing these are the same batteries as we have in the U.S. Uh, this all looks this all looks the same as what I have back at home. Although I did swap out the little hook here for this this belt hook because I have a carabiner on my belt and I can just clip this in. So I gotta gotta take this one off before I split the clamshell. Obviously, all the assist modes here are in Japanese. This this lets you cycle through the power modes, and you, there's a button up here. And then there's like different like screw modes, so you can like drive a screw in slowly, and then it speeds up, or 
whatnot. I gotta look at the manual for this. Honestly, I just keep it at max power and just modulate because I don't know. Maybe there, maybe these modes are useful if you're putting in a lot of sheet metal screws, but usually you just like do a good job. All right. So now we got to take the back off of this. So I don't think it can be seen easily in the video, but the bearing says N M B N M B. So I don't know if that's a Japanese brand or what, but it is a, uh, that's the bearing we have in there. All right, now let's pop up, take this apart. I'm really hoping that uh, it goal goes back together nicely because I'm gonna need this impact driver to do my job. All right, so there's the inside of the impact driver. This is a little, this probably, this part is probably just region specific. This is the Japanese one, but I bet the control board is common. <sighs> this might be the same across the board. Same with this part. Omron. Omron, I mean, I guess, open up your impact driver and see if Omron is the same switch they use. And then the motor. Pops out like this. And the LED on each side. All right, so this is the brains of the operation. <sighs> I'm, I'm one, I mean, I'm not gonna pull this apart because I don't have the wrenches that they're this big, but the, the AVE video goes into this in detail. And I'm, I'm, I mean, that's honestly, it's unfortunate because that's like where I'm most interested in seeing what's going on here. Is there Japanese specific bearings in here? Are the bearings the same quality at the, as the US made one? So. Actually, let's see. Okay, this one here. This part probably is universal. It's probably also made in China. I'm guessing that they probably do the same thing we do in the US where they like assemble it in the in the country with global components. Um, I mean, I was I've been very happy with my impact driver. Uh, my US version of this the model before it. So I don't doubt that, you know, they're all about the same quality, but this is much more expensive. So I don't know if that's because we're paying for Japanese manufacturing or there's actually quality differences that are, that are significant between the models. All right, let's put it back together. So it's all back together again, it still works. Uh, I hope that maybe that was valuable. Uh, if you have a US model and you, and you want, tear, tear into it and let me know if there's any differences in the bearing I mentioned. Um, I'm guessing there's probably a lot of similarities, but it's a very nice tool. And uh, I'm almost a little, a little bit of buyer's remorse because maybe you know a month after I bought it, they released the 40 volt impact driver, which is pretty ridiculous. I've, I've played with it a little bit. And, um, you know, you never know. Might be worth picking up the 40 volt here in Japan. But it sounds like that's coming to America because I also saw an ad for that in, uh, in Australia. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hi, if you liked this video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Please check the notes below the video for more ways to keep this channel going. Your support is greatly appreciated. And always, never stop building.